Folks, you stick here back inside of Watch Dogs. Today, I'm doing Saturday Night Special. This requires you to finish the final mission in the Weapons Trade Investigations. Now, warning, do not attempt this until after you complete Act 2, Chapter 4. All right. Now, just follow what I'm going to do here on the map. I'm missing one in this video specifically because I did it unknowingly. Because I didn't know what the hell it was uh, when, I was, when I was playing earlier. Uh, when I was playing... One of the mainline missions, after you meet, I think believe it's Open Your World, there is a weapons trade underneath there. That's a very easy one. You just go to the other end of the underpass, and there it is. That one's specifically very simple. Anyway, this one contains two, well, technically one. <clears throat> Excuse me, so, sorry, still have that cold I have. I would, if I had a cough button, I would have pressed it. Woohoo. Anyway, I do speed this up slightly, and you do learn a little side story here. Anyway, this guy named Tobias, you got a guy you meet in Act 2, Chapter 4, actually tells you about these, and if you do these ahead of time like I'm doing inside, just inside of Act 2, you'll encounter a glitch, where it will not unlock after Act 2, Chapter 4. It comes out, I'll show you in just a minute, but it will not unlock until slightly later, because it's still processing, oh yeah, you have done all these, Thanks for ruining the little experience for us, and then you gotta put, well, why'd you put it on the map if you didn't want me to find it? Eh? See? Anywho, as soon as we get that, shipping crate now just north of the island you eventually go to later. Shipping crate here. This one, you have to climb up on a roof. And this one actually threw me for a loop for a bit because uh, the way they have it set up, they don't give you a prompt. It's actually right behind there. They don't give you a prompt to climb a very specific spot, i.e. right there. It took me about five minutes to figure that out. I felt very stupid. Then I've been feeling very stupid lately. Anywho, yeah, especially, if you see me, if, especially if you saw me on Twitter lately. Yeah, I've, I've had a few stupid moments. Anywho, right around this corner is our unlock, and that'll allow us to enter the garage. Of course, I could have, you know, edited this down a bit, but oh well. It's not like it's that far. Anywho, in this one, there is no audio log, just the just the weapons crate. And you know, make sure you always pick up what you got in there, because I actually got some remote IEDs to help me perform black hat trick. Remember that. Anyway, now we're just going to go a little east, northeast. Uh, this one you gotta go across the street. This one's a bit tricky. Uh, at this corner there's a camera. At this camera you can directly see the unlock, and that's right next to a coffee shop, which allows us to go directly in. That one's actually quite easy. Well, it's easy. I wouldn't say it's quite easy. It took me a little bit personally to figure it out, but hey, that's what I'm here for. There's an audio log in this one. There's only seven. Remember that. So if you feel like you're missing one, you're not. If there's seven, there's seven. And of course, scan it, and there we go. We are halfway done. Next, we're going to go a little south here, and this one is just before you cross over into the wards slash uh, docking district. Anyway, uh, two ways to get into this area. I went to the parking garage here. Very nice. Actually, I actually had this car the entire time I did this, so that's actually kind of cool. It's actually shocking, because I never ever... that never happens. Anyway, you take this little staircase over here, and that'll bring us up to the surface. God, I hate this cold. Seriously, guys. It sucks ass. Hopefully you guys don't get it. Luckily, stuff like this doesn't get trans transferred through the internets. Anyway, this one actually has you walking a little bit. The, uh... The unlocks. Actually, there's one up there. And there's another one a little ways down. So you can see I can already get to it. But, unfortunately, you know how this all goes. <clears throat> Especially I have this... I'm still trying to find all the music, so I apologize for that ahead of time. But anyway, we're going to go on down. If only I didn't have the blackout, am I right? Go over to the left. Well, the right there. And we have to go down a little bit. Because actually we got to go around a bit. Well, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm crazy. Anyway, another audio log. There you go. Again, I'm crazy. <laughs> Not really. I'm just really tired. I blame uh, lack of sleep. 4 a.m. Woohoo! Anyway, down into the wards slash docks area. Actually, this one's on ground level. You can actually come right up to here. And then you just move yourself around. 
and inside of here I didn't speed this one up because it only has a has only has these so <clears throat> that being said scan it there we go number seven woohoo we're almost done almost done suffering through my cold addled voice anyway a little so little southwest of there in this area here we're gonna have to go two buildings back because that's actually where you unlock it from once you do that it unlocks immediately there is no other uh, there are no other unlock consoles to hit I kinda see I've heard some people compare this to like technological Assassin's Creed they're about right anyhow we're just going to walk right in, and this one also contains an audio log in the form of a stereo in the corner. Of course, listen to it or skip it, up to you. Then when it's done, we're going to go ahead and pick up the box. That's number eight. Final one to collect. This is in the northwestern part of the wards, as you can see here. Now, unfortunately, in the next section, I do, and it's on top of this building. There's only one of them. It's this nice little garage here. Actually says garage on it. Woohoo! Anyway, there's another audio log, and we're gonna let it do its thing. Honestly, I should have sped this up, but honestly, but to an extent of which I'm crazy again, stupid cold. I shouldn't be doing a video with cold. Anyway, we're gonna unlock the whatever it's called, the uh, one weapon, the uh, silence goblin, which by the way, very useful until you get yourself the silence vector. That thing is fucking sweet. Now, I've encountered a glitch. Again, like I mentioned, do not attempt this until Act 2. Now, as you saw there, it didn't unlock until Act 2, Chapter 5. Now, or Chapter 6. Now, this is a glitch I am well aware of. I actually reported to Xbox support, and I don't know if they're going to look into it or in, in you know, Ubisoft-wise, but hopefully this doesn't happen to you. Again, don't attempt this before Act 2, Chapter 4, otherwise you just look stupid. I would highly suggest buying a coffee because we're going to need it. Anyway, I, already, I have all the little warehouses. I don't show you where this is on the map because it's right next to a fixture contract in the upper right-hand area of the wards. <clears throat> it's not super difficult to get to. I just didn't know what I was going to be doing. I don't know if I was chasing someone or something. So, you know, always be prepared, as the Boy Scouts motto is. Anyway, what we're going to need here, especially for this mission, is a silenced weapon of some kind and a lot of IEDs. Why? You will see in a minute or two, because trust me, enforcers are a bitch. They always will be. And I should have sped this up, and I regret that. And I managed to, well, I did speed up the last part of this mission, eight times speed. Anyway, I have a nice silenced ACP vector. Woohoo. Get that for doing online tailing five times successfully. I actually have that achievement. Woohoo! Anyhow, uh, I died once. You know, learn from your mistakes. I took down everyone because, you know, it's best to just eliminate them. Makes it easier for me. All right, now we have these guys all taken care of. Upgrade if you want. We have the IED. I never got that originally, but uh, we're going to need that. Take them down as fast as you can. Build bombs as fast as you can. Uh, of course, the... Uh, Focus comes in handy right there. Now, in the front here, we're going to need about three IEDs. Enforcers, again, are a little bitch, as you can see here. I killed one. We're going to need two of them. We have two right there. We're going to let this guy do his thing. That took us about another two bombs, and that's assuming we got close. And then take out the rest of the guys. You get a call by Tobias. Make sure you pick up the uh, PP2000 thing, and there's an AA12 back there somewhere. Pick them up. You get them for free. And that is the mission, that is the weapons train investigation complete. That's 15 gamer score. It'll probably take you about, I don't know, one to two hours, depending on your travel speed. If you want to do uh, jumping around or one by one, up to you. Anyway, there you go. 15 gamer score. Thank you guys for watching. If this helps you, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And as always, have a great and beautiful day. I'll see you guys all next time.